Friday night is the best kind of night and we got 5 games to go along with it. My name is Andreas Sachinka and you're watching the LKHL Update. We're gonna kick it off with an interconference matchup. Up to Ambilis play host to Dynamo Minsk. Both teams love to score and that's exactly what they do in this one. Up to Ambilis break the ice just under 5 minutes into the game. Alexi McKay finds the back of the net while Pavel Datsuk draws a helper. Dynamo bring it back to even two minutes later. Brandon Minnell puts the puck on there from the blue line and Shane Prince buries the rebound. The Veers is getting the lead meter through the second. Here over on his course is first for Minsk to make it 2-1. But after on the list, tied up just over a minute later. Stanislav Bucherov scores the third of the year from in tight. But Dynamo scored two more before the period expires. Washington Capitals prospect Alexei Pradas nests his third of the year on a power play. A few minutes later, Afton Belize get it over the goal line as well, but it's going to be waved off as the biscuit was kicked into the net. And then New Jersey Devils pick from 2018. Igor Sharangovic makes Jakub Kovrš pay for this reckless play, and Dynamo have a 4 2 lead heading into the third. The house pulled back to within one as Alexei McCabe rifles it past Dominic Furk on a two-man advantage. That's his second of the game, seventh of the year and 100th in the league all-time. It doesn't help up to Andalis though. Dynamo Minsk win their fourth game in a row. 4-3 is your final on this one. We're now in Helsinki, Finland. Jokerda back from quarantine and faced severe in home ice. The Viris just opened up the score in 10 minutes into the game. Viktor Komarov nets his second of the year off a great setup by Evgeny Shisalin on the outman rush. The Jesters get back even just 33 seconds into the next period. Ryan O'Neill celebrates his first goal of the year. He deflects the puck in on Mikhail Ekstenen's shots. Less than a minute later, David Sklenishka takes a muffin of a shot from the blue line. Harry Satteris stops it with his blocker, but then loses track of the puck and it trickles into the net. It's a shorthanded goal, 2-1 Yokerit. Sibir make it a 2-2 hockey game a few minutes later as Mikaru Okama gets his first goal of the season as well. But then Yokerit gone to score three and as he goes to bag it. Marco Antela completes the beautiful passing play and puts Helsinki back in the lead five minutes later. Niklas Jensen extends the lead just over a minute into the third frame. Nice snipe pass Harry Satter on the glove side. Cheddar! Superior pull Satter for the extra attacker late in regulation, but it doesn't help. John Norman hits the empty cage and gives us our final. Yucker 5, Severe 2. We're up to Yaroslavl now, where Locomotive defend the S against Neftikimik after forfeiting again to Kulun Red Star earlier this week. Seven minutes into the game, Loka put together a nifty give and go play. Denis Alexeyev feeds Igor Korskov at the far post for a certain goal, but Evgeny Vanikov does the splits and keeps it out with fantastic effort. A few minutes later, Libor Gudacic steals the puck and plays it to open as for Adoshik Sadarov. He shoots and it rattles off the five. No dice. The Wolves open scored later in the period. Marat Kairola and that's it from the slot while Alexander Osipov gets the only assist. Way to keep the play alive. Locomotive tied up meter for the second period. Chicago Blackhawks pick Arthur Kayumov slides it past Evgeny Vandikov 1-1. Neftikimik recaptures the lead just 33 seconds later. Daniel Butsayev scores his first career KHL goal right off a one faceoff in the offensive zone. And with 20 seconds remaining to play in the period, Liber Gudashik throws it in the slot from behind the net and it backs into the net. 3 1 after 40. Locomotive pulled back to within one early in the third. Arizona Kayata's prospect Alexander Darin receives the puck from Kayumov, skates to the net and beats Ivanika five ball. The host to beat Ivanikov for the third time a little later, but the goals waved off due to goaltender interference. No points for Loco tonight. Let's take it take it 3 2 on the road.
We're now in Balashika, Moscow region. Kronlon Redstar visit Avangard this Friday night. The Hawks are all over the Dragons in this one, but they have a hard time converting the domination into dolls. Having said that, they still get a few. Then is there not Ness's force of the year late in the opening period? Rookie Yegor Chinakov improves the lead to 2-0 7 minutes into the second period. He has two points of the night already. Not even 20 seconds later, Corbin Knight makes it 3 nothing to essentially put it out of reach. But the Dragons get a lucky break shortly after that as Chinakov deflects the puck into his own net and Lucas Lockhart is credited with the goal. Avangar continue to command the flow of the game, out shooting Red Star 60-20, but nothing else goes into the net. Still a rather good night for the Hawks as they win 3-1 at home ice. Huge game takes place in St. Petersburg tonight as SKA do battle with no other but Akbars. First period, Nietzsche Yudin delivers the puck to Stanislav Galif in front of the net. Rich shot deflection and Mikhail Berdin has it in his bread basket. Later in the period, two youngsters drop the gloves and go at it. Nikita Dunyak and Vasily Patkolzin throw punches and Vancouver Canucks prospect topples his opponent. Moving on to the second, Albert Yerolin goes D to D. Mikhail Vikstrand goes for a cross ice pass, another deflection, and this time it goes in. Igor Spiridonov gets unlucky on the play. Akbar's double up a few minutes later as they convert on a power play. Justin Azaveta smashes it from the left wing and Patrice Formier redirects it past Mikhail Berdin. A little later, Vasily Patkolzin takes a wrist shot on an odd man Russian. Timur Bilalov makes a spectacular glove save. Third period now, Mira Altinen gets to the net with a burst of speed, but he's denied by Vilalov as well. Terrific fat save by Akbar Snapminer. SKA finally sold Bilal up 13 minutes into the frame. Ivan Marozov slings it home on the short side using Nikita Lamkin as a screen. Artem Nikolaev draws his first career KHL point on the play. Final seconds of regulation now. SKA have a man advantage and the extra attacker and they get the equalizer. Andrei Kuzmenko slings it home from the hash marks. Overtime, Nikita Dinak splits the D, wills to the slot, takes a shot, robbed by Mikhail Berdin, what a save! But it's going to be a 10 in memory, Alexander Burmistrov scores the winner in the shootout and Akbar still wins the extra point. 3-2 shootout is your final in St. Petersburg tonight. And that's it for the LKHL update, but do come back tomorrow as we have two more games for you to enjoy. Salamat your life, we'll face videos while our Marvel visit Spartak in Moscow. My name is Andrea Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.